Could the key to securing the world's food supply for the future be hidden in the DNA of crops from the distant past? Scientists in Israel are creating a gene bank from the seeds of local wild crops, hoping that may help farmers deal with a harsher climate in the coming decades. Botanist Alon Singer is collecting seeds from a number of plants, such as water mint, wheat and barley. The seeds are then frozen and stored at the Israel Plant Gene Bank at the Volcani Institute. Scientists there want to save the crop's genetic makeup and study them before they are completely lost to expanding deserts and urbanization as the climate warms. <laughs> מסיבה כלשהי מגיע איזה מזיק, מגיע איזה תהליך של מדבור, המסע של קרחונים, או אני לא יודע, כל סוג של קטוסטריפה שאפשר לחשוב עליו. אתה צריך למצוא תשובה מיידית איך לשמור את הגידול קיים ו- ו- ושמיש כדי לייצר את הכמות האוכל שכל האנשים צריכים. Tens of thousands of types of seeds are stored in the gene bank. Scientists say the gene pool in Israel is unique, coming from an area that was once known as the birthplace of crop cultivation. Wild crops' resilient characteristics can be harnessed to genetically modify farmed crops so they better withstand drought or disease. Roy Ben David is a researcher at the Volcani Institute. So we are trying actually to uh, work and develop resilient germplasm and varieties of wheat that will combat the changes in the environment in order to provide in the end stable yields to the farmers and of course in the, in the end to the, to the people. The research has already been paying off. The institute has engineered a variety of wheat with an ultra short life cycle. In the future, it could be a saving grace in a hotter climate with reduced growing seasons. The World Bank warns that global agriculture is extremely vulnerable to climate change. It says negative effects are already being felt, with hotter temperatures, more frequent extreme weather events and invasive crops and pests. Einav Mazlish Gatti is the director of the Israel Plant Gene Bank at the Volcani Institute. We know somehow what is the challenges for today. We don't know what are going to be the challenges in 10 years, in 15 years, in 100 years. We want to make sure that our next generations will have the tools to cope with all the changes that will come. So we're making sure to have that available.